Fast forward to January 2022, and I'm still hanging in there. There'd be a lot of new altcoin projects moving in and out of the top 10, but Bitcoin was still holding strong at number one. On live streams, people would brag about how much money they were making off crypto and even stable coins. When I stated I didn't have that kind of money to invest, they would respond about how I could stake or loan my Bitcoin or crypto so I could buy more. I said to myself, huh, this is probably something I should look at. As I began to do my research on loans and staking, crypto loans are similar to regular loans except there's no conventional credit checks. It's solely based on the amount of Bitcoin or crypto that you want to loan. But beware, if the price of Bitcoin or crypto drops in value, you could lose it all. I decided taking out a loan against my Bitcoin or crypto was not an option because I didn't fully understand or was comfortable with it. Plus, I didn't even have enough to take out a loan anyway, so it's a moot point. <laughs> Staking, however, seemed to be more down my lane. Basically, taking your crypto and letting an entity hold it for a period of time. When that time is up, they give you your crypto back plus some extra for letting them hold it. I said, sounds easy. What could it hurt? But I dare not try with my Bitcoin. So I tried it with some of my altcoins. So far, so good. I did start getting greedy as I saw some coins had a high staking percentage and noticed I could even do it with a stable coin. One stable coin said I could even receive 20% APY. I was like, really? This is too good to be true, so I threw a few dollars in just to see what would happen. At one point, it went to $1.03. I said, this is great, but the math ain't math then. Because how can a stable coin be worth so much more than a dollar and 20% back? Where are they getting this money from? Then I started thinking, where are any of these exchanges getting their money from to pay these high staking amounts? And for that matter, loan all these people this money. Where's my crypto even going that I stake? Then that stable coin announced they were buying Bitcoin to secure their coin. I was like, hold up. If your project's so great, why do you need Bitcoin? At that moment, I knew I needed to get my money out. Now it's early summer and my gut was right. That stablecoin crashed and started a chain reaction that exposed a number of projects and exchanges. They were using people's hard-earned investments not for securing that crypto or stablecoin, but using it on risky investments to try to make a quick flip. I'm glad I played it safe and did what I was comfortable with and didn't try to FOMO in, but I do feel sorry for those that tried to risk it all. Now it's time for them to pay up and all they have is a bunch of IOUs. I definitely started reading more into these companies as well as who I lent my coins and tokens to. To make matters worse, all these events and a recession looming, it has caused Bitcoin and crypto to take a nose dive. My plan B is not going well. I guess I'm about to officially go through my first bear market. <laughs>